You're listening to Inside Solutions Live, where executives and leaders in interactive marketing discuss how they use the internet to grow their business online. For the latest trends and tactics on e-marketing, visit us on the web at www.insidesolutionslive.com. Hi, everyone. My name is Janelle Reichert, and I'm a marketing account associate here at Bayshore Solutions. Today, I'm going to talk a little bit about storytelling and how it relates to your digital marketing efforts. First, a really quick exercise. When you close your eyes, what do you think of when you hear the word storytelling? Maybe you think about your grandma telling a story about her husband coming back from World War II. Or maybe it's your mom talking about your first steps as an infant. Or that time you told your best friend you met the love of your life. Well, it turns out we're all good storytellers. And the mark of a great story is tapping into that emotional connection that we all feel when we remember and relate with our own experiences. But it doesn't even have to be those big life events. Think of your everyday experiences, your coworker telling you how they spent the entire morning stuck in traffic and your response, story of my life. Well, that is the connection to strive for when writing a really good story. But how does this all relate to you or your company online? And what does it really mean to tell your story? More specifically, your brand story? Well, let's step back one moment. We have seen incredible growth in the multiple channels now available to anyone online. Every subject, every concept, every product, it's all now available at our fingertips. And as we prepare to head into 2014, the individuals and companies that consciously choose to differentiate themselves from their competition, they're the ones much more likely to connect with their audience and online users. At Bayshore Solutions, storytelling has become a key part of our strategy for differentiating our clients from the competition online. In fact, several members of the Bayshore Solutions team recently had the opportunity to take part in a storytelling workshop. And you know, it really got me thinking about how, even though it seems so basic, sometimes the most obvious elements of marketing can get lost in the details. So what exactly do I mean by that? Brand storytelling is hardly a new concept, you know that. But it's often a critical part of the digital online strategy that gets lost in the logistical details of creating your digital footprint. In other words, you may have a really unique company, a great looking website, And maybe you're on every social media platform imaginable. But now that you have that foundation, why should users come to your channels? And more importantly, when they get there, why should they stay there or even come back? Think of it this way. If you're online, you already have a brand story. The question is, does it have value or relevance to your audience? Beyond that, when a user or consumer gets to your website or platform, do they know who you are right away, what you do, and why they should care? If your story isn't clear at that point, either online or offline, that user likely won't stay there very long. Like anything else in life, first impressions are everything. You have a very limited window, if not seconds, to compel your audience to connect with them, with who you are as a company, and why they should want to use your product or service. And that's why your brand story must be clear and consistent. So with all that in mind, there are a few quick tips I always keep in mind when creating a strong story. The tactics may change slightly based on your own experiences and goals, but the fundamentals of good writing will help guide you through the process. First, know your audience. Now that may sound really simple, but you'd be surprised at just how important this element is to define up front and how many companies don't know who they're trying to sell to. If you don't know who you're trying to reach, how can you write your story that will compel them to read it? Second, keep it simple. Again, think of it from the view of your audience. When they get to your platform, they aren't looking to solve the problems of the world and create world peace. They just want to consume and navigate through your message. If that message becomes too complicated, they'll lose interest immediately. Know the end game. The hardest part of a story can be the beginning. That's why good writers almost never start at the beginning. Why? 
because the beginning should be the most compelling part of the story that keeps them wanting to read more. So if you start with where you want to end up at the end, you'll often find it's much easier to build out the details of your story itself. Also, be transparent. Once you're telling your brand story, be authentic. Now, this is often the scariest part for most people, myself included. But remember, you and your company are the story. Don't be afraid to show some of the hardest parts of your journey and how your company got to where it is. People are looking for truth, something to believe in, a way to emotionally connect or root for your story, your product, or your brand. Once you know what story you're going to tell, don't forget to be creative when you're telling it. Remember, you want to take your audience on a ride of emotion that really allows them to connect with their own experiences. Choose your words and your images wisely. Like transparency, the most valuable way to gain their attention is allowing your audience to relate to you using memories and relevance in their own lives, making them fall in love with your story. And finally, be consistent. You should evolve and grow with the changes of your industry but don't completely change your tone or identity. If you change who you are every time you tell your story, it gets confusing and dissolves any transparency you may have worked so hard to create. At the end of the day, think of your story and online profile as a book. You have multiple chapters with a lot of depth. Each chapter is a new opportunity for your audience to connect with you and your relevance and make your book a page turner. Now, before I leave you, I just want to mention the Bayshore Solutions team has consciously developed methodology to help tell your story in the digital marketplace. And we would love the opportunity to work with you and your company. Just contact our team today at www.bayshoresolutions.com. And we really look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for your time. You've been listening to Inside Solutions Online, where executives and leaders in interactive marketing discuss internet marketing strategy. For the latest trends and tactics on how e-marketing impacts corporate growth, visit us on the web at www.insidesolutionslive.com. Live.